the Free Gliding Ski Fee Screw, presented by Dr. Marie Godalovich. Description and intended use. Today we're here to talk about the Free Gliding Ski Fee Screw, which is a two-part screw that will elongate with grip. The intention of this device is to be used for mild to moderate slips, for a non-fusion technique for ski. The screw sizes vary between uh, 48 millimeters to 102 millimeters and 6.5 millimeter in diameter to 7.3 millimeter diameter. Entry point. The first part of the procedure is the entry point. The positioning of your patient is on a supine radiolucent table with the fluoroscopy coming from above. The K wire is then inserted through the skin to the intertrochanteric line on an AP view. It's very important that on the AP view, you do not have the wire starting at the lateral cortex, but at the intertrochanteric line. Guide wire options. The guide wires provided in the tray are stainless steel. Cobalt chrome wires, which are 30% stiffer, are available upon request. 2mm and 2.4mm guide wires are used for the 6.5 and 7.3 screw placement. The 2.8mm guide wire should only be used when entry reaming is desired. For more details, please consult the surgical technique. Guide wire insertion. Once you've started the insertion of the wire, you want to be able to verify its position on the lateral. To be able to do so safely, you can use your actual cannulated drill as a guide for the wire to prevent it bending. You're going to slide your cannulated drill on the wire, and once it's down to the bone, you can then mobilize the leg into a frog lateral position, keeping the x-ray from above and verifying the position of this wire. You want the wire to go up to a few millimeters from the subchondral bone and across the physis at 90 degrees and center it in the femoral head and femoral neck. Measurement. Once the wire is in good position, you want to be able to measure it. You're going to use this guide all the way down to the bone and then there's a measuring tool that goes on the wire and where the wire ends aligned with the number is the length of your screw. You should remember to remove two to three millimeters of length so that you will have appropriate purchase uh, with the male component of the screw which we will show you later. Reaming. At this point you're ready to drill. When drilling please remember that you only want to drill up to the physis. You do not want to touch the growth plate with the drill as your screw is self-tapping, self-drilling. You'll use the drill up to the grill plate and then remove it. And then you'll be ready for screw insertion. Screw insertion. There are two components to the screw. This is the male component, which is triangular to help with the stability of the screw. This is the insertion handle, and you can put the male and screw in the internal threads to hold the male in place. You will then put the female on top of the male and insert the screw in one go. As you insert the screw, you should remember to, that the purpose is to get the female threads all the way across the growth plate into the epiphysis. All the threads need to be in the epiphysis for this to work. As you do that, you will eventually feel that the male component is capturing the cortex at the intertrochanteric line. This is the appropriate positioning of this screw. Disclaimer. This video is not intended to be a substitute to the surgical technique.